Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi friends. In this lecture, we will see some basic type spot functions. First, we are going to see describe function. So describe function is going to display the number of records in a column along with the standard deviation, mean of the column, minimum and maximum values at a glance. Second, we are going to see how to drop column from a data frame. Third one, we are going to delete the records when the record has a null value. And finally, we will see how to drop duplicate values from a data frame. So let's jump into practicals. Here I have a data frame PF. It has eight columns and 15 records. So first we are going to convert when there is an empty string to null values. So if you can see commission column has the empty string and also manager column has one empty string. So we will replace this one with the null values. So initially I'm going to import my functions when and to convert the salary column from string to integer, I'm going to import integer type here. So let's try to import these two first. Then I'm going to convert my salary column from string to integer. Also, I'm going to convert when there is an empty string in commission column to a null value. And we are going to convert when there is an empty string in manager column, convert that to also. To a null value. So let's try to execute this piece of code and have a look at our new data frame df2. And see here in the commission column, all the empty string got replaced to null values, and in the manager column, there is one value replaced with the null value. So now let's see how we are going to describe a column. So to describe a column, First, we are going to take the data frame. Then by using describe function, we are going to pass the required column name. And finally, we are going to display the records. So see here, the summary and salary columns. So the count of the salary column has 15 records and mean of the value is 2018.33, the standard deviation value, minimum and maximum values. Now let's see how we are going to drop the columns from a data frame. So to drop the columns from a data frame, we are going to use drop function. So in the drop function, we are going to pass the required column names which we are going to drop. Here we are going to drop job and employee name columns. So just try to execute this piece of command and have a look at our data frame. See here, we do not see job and employee name columns right so i'm going to revert back uh, data frame with the original one right now we are going to see how we are going to delete the record which contains null values so to delete the record which has null values we are going to use the function drop na so for the drop na we are going to pass parameter how equal to any so any means if the record has one null value is going to delete the entire record. If you put all the record, all the values in the record must be null values. So let's try to execute this one. See that got deleted all the records and displayed the records other than null values. Now let's say for example, you want to delete the record in a particular column when there is a null value. So to do that, we have to pass one more parameter called subset equal to respective column name. Here I'm passing column name as commission. So let's try to execute this one. See here that God delete the record in the commission column only. And if you can see here under the manager column, we have one more record here with null value. It does not drop that value because we have applied to delete the records in a Commission column only. So if you want to drop in the manager column, you can pass manager here. See that got deleted in the manager column only. Now let's see how we are going to drop the duplicate values. First, I'm going to placing order by employee number. 
if you can see here i have two records with same values now when we apply drop duplicate function it has to delete one record and keep one record here so let's try to do that by using drop duplicate functions we are going to delete the duplicate records and finally we are applying order by on employee number and displaying the results see here now 7654 there is only one record let's say for example you want to drop duplicates based on the columns so i want to drop duplicates based on the job and department number so to do that here we are going to pass the required columns inside the drop duplicates then it is going to consider those two columns to delete the duplicate reports let's try to execute this one see here we drop duplicates based on the job and department number and if you can see here clerk and department number is 10 and if you can see here there is one more clerk belongs to department number 20 and there is one more clerk belongs to department number 30 and also we have same like manager department number 10 manager department number 20 and manager department number 30. so this is how we can delete the duplicate records from a data frame thank you guys